Well, the big story we are tracking, uh, the army has dismissed former military secretary Lieutenant General Avdesh Prakash from service in the Sukhna land scam. Prakash's dismissal from service comes after an army court held uh, him guilty on three counts, uh, conduct uh, unbecoming of an officer and intent to defraud. Uh, now his dismissal means Lieutenant General Prakash will not get any benefits like pension, medical facilities and provident fund. Lieutenant General uh, Avdesh Prakash is the senior most Indian army officer officer ever to face a court martial. Now the army inquiry had indicted Lieutenant General Prakash for using his position to influence officers to transfer the 71 acre plot of army land in Siliguri to real estate developer. Joining us on the phone line our defense editor Nitin Gokhale. Finally uh, Nitin is this the closure that we are seeing to the case. Uh, what does this mean really for General Avdesh Prakash? Well, certainly at the army level, uh, army headquarters level, uh, he, this is a closure as far as uh, Lieutenant General Avdesh Prakash, who is now a retired uh, officer, uh, as far as he is concerned, because uh, the court martial has now found him guilty, as we have already said, on three counts, and uh, basically, uh, which means that uh, uh, he will lose all his benefits, his pension, uh, his uh, provident fund, and his uh, gratuity, as well as medical benefits that uh, the retired people get uh, after retirement uh, in the defense services. Uh, but more than that, uh, what it brings to closure is, uh, of course, uh, I must qualify here that uh, General Avdesh Prakash can represent, uh, uh, give a petition uh, to the uh, government, uh, to the Ministry of Defence uh, against this verdict. Uh, he still has that uh, window open for him, uh, which can still be uh, overturned uh, if uh, the Ministry finds uh, these charges uh, not to be uh, completely, uh, completely baseless. Uh, really, but uh, at the moment uh, he has been found guilty by the army uh, court martial. Uh, the army headquarters has to confirm this sentence, and then it will go. He has a chance to go to the Ministry of Defence to try and overturn uh, this uh, sentence that has been given to him. But that will come uh, much later. At the moment, uh, he has been found guilty. Uh, right. Remember, there was another uh, Lieutenant General P K Rath who was a serving Lieutenant General. He was found guilty on certain charges, right. but he had only a little. A less punishment given to him earlier. That is what has happened in the famous Sukhna land transfer issue. But uh, Nitin, as uh, we are reporting that uh, you know uh, the case dates back uh, to 2008, can you take us through the developments that we've seen? As you said, we've already seen Lieutenant General P.K. Rath uh, court-martialed earlier this year. Yes, let me just give you a brief background of what happened. This, is, uh, this case relates to a, a piece of land uh, measuring 71 acres. Uh, which uh, belongs to a tea garden, actually belongs to the government of West Bengal, leased out to a tea garden. Uh, on this land, a private consortium uh, based in Siliguri wanted to build a school, ostensibly a franchise of the uh, famous Mayo School uh, uh, in Rajasthan, and a mall uh, later. And uh, they, that group of uh, businessmen colluded with uh, Lieutenant General Avdesh Prakash and uh, then uh, uh, commander of the 33 Corps, uh, Lieutenant General P.K. Rath, to issue a, what is called a no-objection certificate, which is mandatory when a land is uh, adjacent to a mil military uh, uh, installment. Uh, sorry, uh, installation, I, I beg your pardon. And uh, therefore, uh, they uh, issued this uh, no-objection certificate, which was found to be uh, a, a, a collaboration, which was intended to be uh, deep, uh, defrauded, uh, the, defrauded the Ministry of Defense as well as the Army. And there... Then Major General, now Lieutenant General Ramesh Halgali, who was the Chief of Staff Number 2 to General Rath, uh, actually blew the whistle on this uh, conspiracy, as it were. Right. And uh, that came into uh, 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 prominence and focus, which then an inquiry was ordered. And after two years, or almost three years now, uh, they, these two people have been found guilty of intent to defraud uh, the Army and the Ministry of Defence in this case. Right, Nandan Gokhale, thanks very much for taking us through those developments uh, in this case that we're seeing as uh, we have uh, uh, the big news of uh, General Avdesh Prakash who has been court-martialed. Of course, he can put a petition against the verdict in the Defence Ministry.